And this evening on the streets of Houston, drivers and cyclists don't always do a good job of sharing the road, which is evidenced by the fact that more cyclists are being hit by drivers. And not one cyclist who was hit has been ticketed. Our Rekha Mutaraj heard his story unfold at City Hall. I, I was stunned. 25-year-old Justin Shoemake has been riding bikes. As long as I can remember. I really don't know a life without bikes. He even works at a bike shop, but a recent accident has left him grounded. My lights are still attached to my bike. They were on blinking. Coming home from a bar one night, Shoemake says he was going westbound on Washington Avenue, but when he made his way to the middle lane to make a left turn, a car going eastbound hit him. I rode on the car for about 20 feet or so. When he woke up in the hospital, he found a ticket in his backpack for failing to stay in a single lane. 23 cyclists have died on Houston streets in the past five years, including Chelsea Norman, who was riding her bike home from Whole Foods when she was killed by a hit-and-run driver in December. It used to be the, the, the people that, were, that had, had ridden smartly, they weren't, they were, they weren't getting hit. Yeah, you know, because they, they, they weren't part of the statistics. They are part of the statistics now. Cycling enthusiast and competitor Dan Morgan went before city council, hoping to find a solution to rising tensions between drivers and cyclists. It's, it's a shared responsibility, but you don't read about cyclists killing people in cars. Even though there are bike lanes, drivers complain that cyclists don't stay in their lanes. They run red lights or they don't wear reflective clothing. But Morgan says those cyclists are in the minority. There'd be a whole lot more deaths in the city of Houston. So the perception that, you know, there's, there's all these cyclists that are rogue and are breaking the law, the data doesn't back that up. Reka Motoraj, KHOU 11 News.